We're going to show you how easy it is to manage and edit your ISO 27001 documentation templates using the Document Kits online platform. When you log into the Document Kits platform, the first thing you'll see is your dashboard. This is where you can manage your company information, view your toolkit library, and add users to the platform. You can also configure key information that will be automatically populated throughout your documentation, such as key roles in the organization and document classification levels, such as public or highly confidential. For example, customizing the roles might mean changing Information Security Manager to IT Manager if your IT Manager is the person responsible for information security across the organization. There's detailed information on how to set this up in our user guide, which you can access from the contents list. Let's have a look at the ISO 27001 toolkit. Here you'll find the list of 165 documents included in the toolkit, such as document control and information security policy. These documents are templates that help you comply with ISO 27001. You'll need to complete the information in these to ensure they accurately reflect your organization. Your templates will already be partially customized for you based on the information you entered into the company information section, saving you from having to enter this information on each document. Let's look at the information security policy. On the left you can see the other documents in the toolkit and easily change between them. On the right is the document classification. For example, we could change the classification to restricted if appropriate information about how to fill in the template, and an indication of whether this document is included in any other toolkits. You'll also see there are pencil icons against specific clauses in the document. Click them to view extra explanations about the specific clause. Where you need to add information to customize the document to your organization, there is a plus icon and a blue box for you to type in. We've included helpful examples of what you may need to add. For example, here there is an opportunity to clarify the sector and purpose of the business. Pink text indicates a link to another document within the toolkit, so you can seamlessly refer to relevant documents and ensure they're all accurate. For example, this links through to the management system manual. Each document will include details of the owner and who is responsible for keeping it up to date and accurate. The role will change according to the role you've specified as Information Security Manager in the Toolkit Field Manager. There's detailed information about this in the user guide. Final approval status of each document in the toolkit can be recorded in the master list of document approval. Here you can record the approver's name, role, date of approval and, if applicable, issue number, along with details of any changes that are made. There you have the ISO 27001 toolkit in document kits using the information security policy as an example document.